we are ready to prepare the top. Now my top already had a seal coat on it um, from a while ago. So I am gonna take that off. I'm gonna get some of these blue spots off. Um, there are some rough spots. There are some stains on here and still a little bit of kind of tear out from uh, scraping the bindings. So some of this is a little bit of a mess. I want to be careful though that uh, I don't disturb this flat spot that we had here. So I'm gonna mark this off with tape. To prep this, I am gonna start out with my random orbit sander and hit this really lightly with a 180 grit. That got most of it pretty well. I do see a few spots that I've still got some glue. I don't feel any of those rough spots anymore that I got chatter on when I was scraping the bindings, so that's good. Uh, I, I don't wanna be real aggressive at this point because our top was thicknessed correctly and I, I, I was happy with the way that it sounded However, if you thought that you needed to get some extra movement out of this top, right now is the time to do that. You can take that sander a little bit extra around the edges where we are likely to see a little bit more movement up and down. We don't wanna really take it out of the middle because that's our supportive structure and that's what's going to prevent the bowing and bending um, this way from that string tension, but we can take a little bit more off around the edges to get a little bit more movement. And I'm talking 0.1 millimeters, maybe 0.2, but really not much. Be very, very careful if you plan to do that. If you haven't sanded over the edges of your sound hole, now is the time to do that. Uh, you will most likely have some cross grain scratches around here and this is the opportunity to fix that. Now is also the time to break this edge on the top if you haven't done so already. And as I had said before, pay special attention to this area in here. This is where we really wanna round this over nicely and leave this without any sort of sharp edge at all, and maybe even a little more rounded than anywhere else on the guitar. We really should take a lot of care in this area to make it as comfortable as possible for that player to put their arm. You can round these over with a scraper, or just really get after it with uh, 150 or 180 grit sandpaper. Be sure not to sand any of these sides. Uh, so don't drag your sandpaper over. We just wanna keep that nice and beveled, um, kind of at a 45 if we can. Okay, the binding is done. Now I'm gonna hit this with my block sander. Go with the grain. Okay, that is done with 180. I'm gonna go through the same process with 220, 320, and all the way up to 400, but you don't need to watch me do that. Just make sure that you sand with the grain on all the grits and you'll be fine. Now before I go any further, I want to mark my bridge location and my saddle location. In order to mark this, I need to get the neck on. So I'll peel the tape off, bolt the neck on, 
and then we will get to masking the bridge and measuring things out in the next video. See you then.